you are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after strange flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host party system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. It's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it doesn't add up to the scriptures, then it's not true. All right, guys. Let's go. Guys, the finish line looks like it's directly in front of us. Sure looks like it. Um, Guys. Uh, past three days, I've been trying to put this out. I don't even know what to say. It's, it's so overwhelming. It's, I don't know what to say. How about I can say everything came true. Everything that I've been showing you. All the stuff that the Lord has shown me, the prophetic utterance all the way back from the hieroglyph to today, it's all true. Have you ever taken hold of something and then you had to come to the point to where you actually knew you took hold of it? Like maybe someone close to you dying, you know, you go through different stages of acceptance, that type thing. Yeah, um, I'm going through this stage of acceptance of being an end of the world harbinger and knowing the entire world population is about to die. That's what I'm going through. Not supposing, not guessing, you know, not this is my opinion, not this is what I've researched, none of that. This is knowing that from being given a gift by the Lord God, like all the prophets before me, they were given gifts. They were given communication. The night I got saved, Michael told me, Jonathan, learn to trust that little voice. That's God speaking to you. Learn to trust his voice now. And I have, I went to Chinati. I told everybody I was going to go to Chinati. The Lord told me to go there. We would meet face to face where he gave me two halves of the same rock face to face to understand the whole system. Um. More miracles. I can't even count the miracles. Corey and Zach and I sat around. We were just laughing, trying to go, can you even remember all the miracles we've seen? I mean, real miracles that you would write down in a book like this miraculous thing happened. It was impossible. But it happens all the time. But anyway, here's the point. What's behind me and what's over here and what I've got, what I've put together for you guys um, that the Lord's given me over the last 24 hours is it's not doable in a human mind. I'm looking right at you. It's not really doable in a human mind. What I'm going to show you is not doable in a human mind. You need to pray before you watch this video. You need to uh, you need to make an appeal to God uh, to give you peace watching this video. If you have the spirit of the living God in you, when you see this, you will have maximum heartbreak and overload. And then you will also have a feeling of exaltation and joy, if that makes sense. Uh, you're going to have them both. But there's coming a moment where that other part, the distress and the overwhelming heartache, we're promised by the word that there will be no more sorrow, no more pain. And you're going to get a glimpse into what's coming. And you're not going to think it is. You're going to hinosko. You're going to know absolutely 
anyone that's told you, you know, Prince Charles is the Antichrist or whatever, or, you know, someone else, Trudeau or this person or that person, Elon Musk, those people are just opening their mouths and saying words. What you're going to see is absolute proof from an almighty creator source. It's not going to be arguable. You won't be able to argue with what I have been given. It's not from me. It's not my anything. It's me being used to show you what it is. It's a very different thing. Um, anyway, I'm going to play a short little clip from two nights ago. I was trying to stay up. I've been at this for, this is day three. And um, now we're ready to go. And the Lord's just been working on me and he's been augmenting and coalescing and tying together and weaving a tapestry with confirmations in the mail and beyond my beyond my brain. I mean, beyond the human brain type stuff. And I got it right here, right there and up here. And I'm going to deliver it all to you guys tomorrow. And, uh, Delivering it might as well be saying, you know, I'm just going to walk the plank because that's what it is. It's just walking the plank is what I'm going to be doing. Anyway, and I, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. It is what it is. Um, but y'all need to see it. When you see it, you need to download it, put it on a jump drive, put it somewhere, make copies of it. Put it on one of these as soon as you see it. Grab, but don't even watch the whole thing. Just download it immediately and put it on one of these. Then watch it. This is end of the world guaranteed stuff. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, all right. Sorry, I'm exhausted, by the way. And I'm so mentally overloaded. It's a miracle that I'm able to talk right now. So here we go. All right, guys, Um, you know what? I was going to show you an eight-minute clip from the other day. Uh, I was out here till three in the morning, but you know what? There's no point in showing it to you. Uh, it's just me talking about what's behind me. It's in the folder um, if you want to go see it. Uh, we're working. Let me show you the folder that we're in right now. Uh, pretty important. There's a lot you can glean if you go to the folders. Um. Anyway, special projects too. We're working out of special projects too. Uh, the it's the newest folder in special projects too. Of course, now I'm running into you know. Here we go. Start with the lag problems and the other kind of nonsense that we deal with over here. Um, so there's one of these folders called Secret of the Grail. Uh, let me show you some that uh, I I just want to make you guys aware of one little thing because what I'm going to show you tomorrow cumulative sum of the ministry from beginning to end where it went from the beginning to the end where did this collect ministry go you're going to see it um i'm going to show you something that happened just a few minutes ago i i left the house to go grab a uh, some food from the grocery store and it's not a grocery store i go to it's called whole foods I walked into Whole Foods and I had just yeah, the day before I, I walked into Whole Foods today, I saw this girl in China that she couldn't buy anything because she didn't have her digital ID and they're go, going for the biometric ID system now. Um, so I want you to watch this. I don't know if where you're at, you have a grocery chain called Whole Foods, but the point is in a grocery store right down the street, you can go in and just pay with your palm now. So I want to show you that in this other little clip from China. And then bring every spatula you have for tomorrow. Uh, be prayed up for sure because what it's going to be like accepting, uh, you know, like I said, it's a little bit like someone dying and you have to accept the reality that, you know, someone you care about is dying. Well, it's going to be, multiplied by a huge number in your brain uh, because everything's going to coalesce and be put together. And it's like the greatest thing in the world and it's the worst thing in the world all at the same time. And I'm just warning you, it is. 
So, but that's what we signed up for. Okay, so we're going to be children of faith and we're going to put our trust in the Lord God. And I and I'm I'm going to tell you some very encouraging testimonies after I show you what I'm showing you tomorrow because the Lord God has come through in places that there's just no way it could have worked. Nothing there was no way I, things could have worked out unless there was divine intervention and he seems to do that in a way that is mind blowing all the way back to Moses leaving Egypt to uh, Gideon fighting a bunch of guys that were as numerous as grasshoppers. <laughs> I got a great idea. Hey, you're going to light a torch, then you're going to break a pot. <laughs> and this will get everything. You're going to win. Mm hmm. Okay, so here's this little video clip of going to the grocery store that I don't go to. Just I went just a little while ago and I pulled out my cell phone and I started recording. Now, just watch closely. Here we go. Ready? Uh, let's see. Said so, so it said pay with card on the main screen or now watch this. So here's where you can pay with your card. Insert tap swipe your payment. Now watch. Or pay with your palm now. New to Amazon One. Get started. So look how the palms down. Look at this. Well, you know the mark of the beast, Revelation 13. It either goes in your right hand or your forehead. And the word is charasso, and it means a palisade and a stake. Let me show you what a palisade is. Let's see. Is see that a palisade is a sharp fence post a palisade and a stake and an rfd rfid chip goes straight through a needle like a palisade fence post and it's going to be fencing everybody in because everyone's already got this in them from that other round with they remember they gave everybody their rptor raptor yep okay here we go let's go back ready Pay with your palm. So the latest in this dystopian outrage that is now all of China apparently is I once again cannot buy food. A couple days ago my uncle and my cousin helped me get a cell phone that is linked to a Chinese bank card so that I could buy anything. But now apparently it has been flagged for some reason, and I have to pass facial recognition identity verification, which is insane, because all I want to do is just spend my gift card balance on this debit card. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have to open my mouth. Oh my god. Terrifying. Oh. And of course, because it was my cousin who set this up for me, I did not pass verification. I guess it's a good thing that the Chinese app is not racist. But now, I once again can't buy anything. Okay, so now, again, that started with me at Whole Foods. So if you think that's far off from here, you're wrong. It's already here. That's all they need is that thing. All they need is say, you know, let's go ahead and put one of those in your right hand or your forehead. So, and it's already linked to everything. That's going to be the new thing. And that's Revelation 13. Um, okay. Everything came together. Everything coalesced. I'm dealing with it on a level that most human beings probably can't even imagine. So if you guys would just give me a little bit of quarter, I'm going to try and dole out everything tomorrow. I'm going to try and do it all at once. The moment that you have that video up, 
You need to download it. You need to download it first and get all the information that's on it. Uh, it's all in the folders, but the way it's put together and knowing that the way the Lord tied it to the scriptures is what makes it all real. I'll say it again. The Lord tied it to the scriptures. That's what makes it all totally real. And now it's all totally real. And that's it. There's no question. It's done. All right. So it is what it is. I love you guys in Christ. And I'll I'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to diligently pursue getting this to you because it's a weight that I can't carry for another mile. I can't do it. It's too much. I got to get, I got to get this burden out, get it off and just be ready for whatever I have to, whatever comes of it. All right. Love you guys in Christ. Sorry guys. I'm so mentally just like, um, I forgot to do the Johnny signature bear hug. I love you guys in Christ. I could really use a bear hug right now from you to Johnny. Johnny needs a real bear hug. This has been a long road. The end of the road is it totally in sight. I'm not, the words I'm saying have the value of the word that I'm telling you. You know how a lot of people speak and their words have no value? Okay, everything I'm telling you, I'm telling you because it's been given to me. It's been delivered. And uh, it's the end of the road is right in front of us. It's visible. You'll see it yourself. You'll know yourself. And you won't think you know. You will absolutely know that you know because it'll be biblical. And it's all supported by scripture and there's a confirming witness right in front of you. It's like not arguable. All right. So here's your hug again. Love you in Christ. We're all going to be okay. I guarantee it. If you're in Christ, that's the only place you can have your faith, any faith right now. If you have your faith in a political system that's going to help you or people that are going to help you, or you think anything's going to help you other than your relationship with the Lord God, El the Almighty God, which was provided by El the Almighty God by coming into the medium called the flesh in order to buy you out of the flesh. He came into the medium that's destroying you, which is the flesh, and you're trapped in it. And he bought you back on a cross. He bought your good half and your bad half both to reconcile you both to God through the cross, making one new man from the two, restoring, reconciling you back to the Lord God. And if you don't have that, you got zero. Okay. I love you in Christ. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pray for me, guys. I'm, I'm, I, I'm really, I, I don't ever remember being this mentally, uh, Even with all the things I've had to do, this one feels like the biggest and the hardest. Okay. I love you in Christ.